This is an update on my Geobacter battery. So this is currently putting out about 200 to 300 millivolts continuously. It's the nine months since I made it, which is why it's growing little plants in there. It's been so long. It used to put out 500 millivolts on average, day and night, snow, hail, rain, anything. It just keeps putting it out. And then it goes into this little microcontroller right here, which I got for about $10. And um, goes over to store. There's a little capacitor on it. That's 5.5 uh, volts. And then this is a 10 volt capacitor I added on there. You can see it's uh, the middle two are the orange and the black. Orange and the black in the middle are for storage or a battery. And you put a lipo on there if you wanted to. It continuously runs this light. at 3.34 volts. Now, this 10 volt capacitor can obviously hold more. I just put on there to have some leeway in case it overcharged or sent more from the little uh, step up booster uh, chip right here into the storage. I didn't want to put in our five volt or two volt because some of the outputs uh, can actually be higher than that. So I figured it'd be safe just to do 10 volt. And uh, it does slowly drain it here. And then all I have to do is unhook the light and um, it will uh, start charging again. Currently you can see the light is still going on. I can throw some more water in there to help out the bacteria, but uh, it's working. I mean, just that little one is keeps generating enough to run this light and to run small sensors. And I can stack up more. I have a few more here. I can uh, run them in series or parallel and uh, get more amperage or more voltage as I like. It's just uh, more of a proof of concept. And uh, I'm gonna get like five or six of these and actually charge like a phone off of this is the goal. And uh, here's the lights I'm using. Uh, they're five millimeter LEDs and they take about 20 milliamps to run continuously. And um, this is producing the amperage on Geobacter batteries is actually um, really good. It's about the same. It's really crazy. The amperage is usually the same as the voltage. So if it's 200 millivolts, it's usually 200 milliamps. Uh, so it's actually quite powerful amperage wise. If you're running into issues with these uh, BQ255s, uh, then enabled could be your issue you're running into there. They don't have a lot of good instructions for these ones. They're not made by Texas Instruments. So you can see it's slightly different in design. The instructions are a little different. It came off of Amazon, which seems to have copied it. This during the pandemic was the only thing I could get my hands on. So that's why I currently just have a cable running to the VIN enabled. And it gives me that light.